All right, welcome guys. This is Eric Beidelman here at Chrome Dev Suffocant. We're starting the second half of the show. I'm here with Paul and Surma, who is going to be live coding today. Tell us a little bit about what you guys are doing. Uh, so we're going to try to build a service worker live. Uh, we have built uh, an app before that is like a, a router where you have content is being XHR'd in and swapped out and animations are happening. Then we build a backend for it which just serves like rendering, so templating on the server side, get a good first paint, all these kind of things. And now it's time to make it work offline. So is that easy? Is it easy to make an app go offline? Well, he's going to make it look easy. But the, the idea is that rather than us just kind of showing up going, ta-da, all finished, like here's, the, like here's a service working you can use, the idea of it is always to show how we think about the problem. So the is it's not easy. I mean, he's been doing a lot of practice to make sure that we can fit in the time window that we have with these things. But you still get to sort of see the thought process, which is the kind of the main thing, rather than just, you know, as I say, delivering this finished thing. That's what I love about you guys' show is like you actually get to follow the process of building something, and it's actually fun to watch too. And live coding, I, I got to hand it to you. That's tough. That's really tough. Kind of challenging the demo gods, but I'm hoping. <laughs> so what's next? What's next for the? What do you guys get excited about? Why do you wake up in the morning? Sir, I'll start with you. Um, so as as I'm working on Houdini, I'm obviously excited about Houdini. So, so what's Houdini? Uh, we got new performance primitives on the web in terms of CSS. So we can probably do more complex, more polished animations. We have more control over when certain paints are happening and what to paint, all these kind of things. It's, it's very uh, expert level, but that's what you get into when you want to do very high performance. And I'm really excited about that. So I'm looking forward when that suddenly, uh, when that starts slowly landing in all the browsers. Paul? I would say, for me at the moment, I'm actually really excited about the ES 2015 stuff and beyond this landing, like classes being pretty much everywhere and uh, fat arrow function type stuff and async await that's just arriving. This, that is a game changer. Absolutely love this async await. I think which I'm also going to be using. So he's going to be using async await. So that, that kind of stuff for me it just improves the productivity, the readability of the code. Just makes so much more fun. And when you go back to ES5, you're like, really? Oh, oh, do I have to? Feels a little icky now, right? Yeah, I mean, I accepted it at the time, but I, 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 I'm glad it's going. I, I, now it's just like, ooh. I look, I look forward to the day when you don't have to transpile or use any tools and you just run stuff in, in browsers. So with that, I'll leave you guys. I know you have to get running. Thanks for coming to us today from Chrome Dev Summit. Be sure to hit us up on Twitter, hashtag Chrome Dev Summit, and hit us up on the YouTube channel. Thanks, guys.